This is the third and last of the three-part series on how to sell products online using AI. In this video, I'll show you how to create your own mock-up, edit it, and upload it to an online marketplace. Mock-ups are very important for a listing because people can see visually how your items would look on a person or a canvas. Most people use standard mock-ups created by Printify or Printful or any other similar online marketplace, but sometimes you just want something different like a different pose, a model, or shirt that they are wearing. You, you can't do it because you have limited funds to hire someone to do it for you, to change it, or you are inexperienced. Since now we have an AI, you can finally do it yourself. To start creating your mock-up, just head over to Midjourney. If you haven't used Midjourney, you can click on the link above this video. Or I recommend my friends 80% off AI art course for beginners. He easily explains on how to start in Midjourney and prompts. You can find that in the description below. Once you're in Midjourney, you just type in imagine or forward slash imagine and then type in shirt mockup comma nitty press comma white background space minus minus AR space two colon three. And this is what you get once you've uh, generated the image. You can just keep on refreshing until you be satisfied with the image or you can choose which image you are interested in. Now for the color, you can change it to uh, t-shirt mock-up, plain, uh, different color, uh, neatly press, then hyphen hyphen no background, uh, comma text, comma no graphics, and then hyphen hyphen two colon three. Now this size two uh, colon three, you can change that to whatever this uh, size that you need. Uh, sometimes because the image that you uh, generate uh, for your mock-up, um, the, the graphics doesn't fit the image. So you just have to change it uh, whichever uh, aspect ratio you need. As for the model, you just need to change the settings first. You need to type in forward slash settings like this, forward slash settings. And then if your scale is on beta upscale, you need to change it to light upscale because on beta upscales, for some reason, the eyes and some parts of the face is kind of blurry. I don't know why. But when I change it to light upscale, it changes to a better one. Uh, the eyes is fixed, all those kind of problems, uh, it's not showing up. But the little problem is that sometimes it's cartoonish. The images is kind of cartoonish, like this one and this one. So uh, you just have to f keep on refreshing to find the right image that you think is more realistic. So to get this uh, image, um, I already placed the prompts at the description below, but here it is, a t-shirt mock-up with female model, uh, neatly uh, press. Uh, this is for the shirt, different colors, and then clear facial features, posing, front view, hip level, shot angle, cinematic, all this kind of jazz. And I added the no graphics on the shirt, watermark, and the aspect ratio is 8 by 9. Now, the aspect ratio, you can change this whatever you need, but be advised that if it's kind of big, um, some, what you call this, some online marketplace doesn't uh, accept that kind of image uh, if it's too big. So I suggest you, uh, you get something lower than this or uh, make sure that the aspect ratio or the size file size is kind of small. So as you can see, even if that you put the minus minus no graphics on the shirt, it keeps, it still provides you that graphics. So now to change the color of the shirt, you just need to change the different colors here to whichever color you are interested in. As you can see, I could I already changed the color and this one looks really nice. 
so we can check you can select that and then as for the mail the mail the mail is really difficult just so you guys know because the mail it really does look like cartoonish I mean as you, it's the same prompt but I changed the male uh, female to male and it's really cartoonish but I can't do anything about it I tried different ways so but if you have any uh, any prompts that you can provide that makes this more realistic uh, please comment down below I'll be more than interested in looking into it so this one I like now for the color uh, well this one looks really good and looks real also you can change the model to let's say I don't know is uh, mid journey is showing up as uh, Caucasian for the male model or the female you can change the model by changing the male into uh, example change it to African American or if you Asian you can change it to Asian model you can choose whatever you want so I suggest you keep this part alright keep this part and you can change ev everything else the clear features all those kind of uh, settings that you want because uh, I tried testing this part here it works and for different settings so you can keep this and then you change it the model the different color and that's it so after this I will be using another tool for editing all right uh, this is the new tool I was talking about uh, this will be Figma uh, it's like a mood board and it's much better also it's the same as framer but it's much better you can actually even create website using this uh, tool so but right now we're just going to use this as a mood board and this is our image that we use from our previous video and I, I already uploaded this uh, it's easy to upload the or put the image here in Figma once you sign them it's uh, signed up on Figma it's it's easy I promise it's easy to use you just drag the image and it will be pasted here on your uh, on your canvas now this is the canvas but uh, don't don't get me wrong that there's no border here so you can actually save the image differently like this one uh, this is the image or this is the what you call this this is are the, the things that you can get from uh, my Etsy store I'll be providing this including the one image and then providing all the um, models and also for the shirts but if you want to change your own model and your shirts and uh, you just follow the video that we're right now doing right now so okay so this is the sample that we uploaded uh, created on mid uh, mid journey earlier uh, that we can edit so as you can see this one you can actually scale up and down this image just dragging the the one on the corner scale up and down and then this is the actual size for the shirt and the size of the border where they need to print the image you just scale that to whatever you think is that would fit like that now this one this image cannot be put in in this image or this image or this image as because when you put that here it doesn't fit and if you try to group this all right so to export this you just need to what you call this uh, group this up as a, one section so you can see it's one section here or one image and then you click on export and then if you do that uh, I don't know if you see that on your screen right now there's such a transparent background on the corner left and right and if you up uh, downloaded this image it will show up like this one which is not good so in order to ungroup this is just you just highlight it again and then right click and then ungroup and then you just drag the uh, image or for your 
store uh, for your Etsy store and now you can use this uh, upscaled it up and down like this one I already did this for the three images here the reason why I chose this image because it can actually fit the image now we can scroll forward a little bit higher okay not this one so okay that is much better and then group okay so although we can't like really make that image fit like the actual image on the shirt well in a sense uh, you they can actually the in a sense the image of uh, what you created uh, will show up or people will understand that okay this is how it looks like on the on the what you call this on the if they buy the image from printify or whatever uh, uh, print on demand service that you get you can actually they can actually see how it's gonna look like all right now I'll help you upload this on uh, ne next one is going to upload this images to uh, Etsy now before that we just need I already exported this or up download this image by clicking export and then export three images then it will try to export this and it will change into a, a zip file now that's the reason why I like this more than canvas because canva doesn't do this um, part wherein you can actually see everything you need to create different canvas for it we're going to change uh, we're going to our Etsy store and let's go to our Etsy store okay this is my Etsy store uh, you can check the link down below if you want to check it out it's called uh, innovators now for the listing okay we click on the listing it's easy you just click on add listing here and then add photo of the listing and then example that we already added the image there we go that's easy and then you just click on uh, put in the title of that or SEO for that uh, image that you created and then just fill out the form here that's about it now if you have any inform uh, if you want to know more about AI and how it can help you uh, please click on the link above this video thank you